Woman, get in the back of the van and make me a cup yeah, of tea. Right. <laughs> Well, this is probably going to be the last time we're out in the van while it's getting converted in the back, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm going to do it myself. Now, if you did watch, if you watched the video last year on our first trip out, where I mentioned about the kitchen pod and that we didn't really need much storage space, and I made the unit myself, um, and I'll put a link to the video down below first time we went out in the van and you can see on that video how I put the unit together. I hadn't done it before but it turned out pretty well didn't it? It did yeah really well. But the only problem we have at the moment is we need more storage space. We're finding if we go out somewhere especially a distance with all the camera stuff and all the other bits and bobs and particularly when I go away over the odd night here and there we need more storage space. So I've ordered a flat pack kit and again, I'm going to do it myself because I can do it straight away. While we're filming this, it has been delivered, hasn't it? Yeah. From Scotland, in a week, which was brilliant. So, it's arrived. And it's all flat packed, and I have it here, ready to sort out. Each little section has, um, yeah, each little section has written on it, or little label on it as to what it is and you can check all of that with uh, the information it's really good the information they've sent with it and there's loads of photographs and and a checklist there which um, I'm gonna have to uh, get into I expect so yes yeah, here in my untidy man cave is at the moment but yes as it says here time for a change so I'm in the workshop and the larger parts are leaning up against here which includes the tabletop um, the uh, worktop for the top of the unit, sides of the units um, and round here it comes with a roll of tea trim here which is handy because uh, I'll set that up so I can just run it off of there it has the two rails that are used for the uh, table to clip on one for inside the van and one for the back of the van and also the adjustable table leg and up here I showed you before is the uh, flat pack Toyota Alphard rear camper kit instructions now it has a complete list here of uh, all the parts so I'm going to be going through all of those and check that everything's with it um, it gives you some assembly instructions and um, lots of photographs of how things should look when it's done interestingly as well in this box are all the other components now that's a couple of jigs in there for installing the hinges onto the uh, tea trim which is excellent a couple of bolts there now they're interesting as well because on the alphard of course you've got the rails in the floor that the seats slide on and these fit into that and help to secure the unit to the van itself all the hinges the clips for the uh, table for front and rear so one goes on the unit inside the van, the other one goes on the back of the unit outside the van. Uh, all the locks here. All of the unit's doors and things are all pre-drilled, unlike when I made my first one and that was quite a job if you'd never done it before as I hadn't. Anyway, everything's in there, all of the connectors that you're going to need, all the screws, all labelled there which um, you, you obviously in the instructions that we just saw it does tell you which screws to use so they're there now again these I assume are the solid brackets to um, fix it onto those bolt things that go onto the floor I think plus some other things haven't had a chance to look at it all I'll get all that assembled get it in the main reason that we want to get it done as soon as we can is because why Suzanne we're gonna go up to Scotland. You could have picked it up, actually. Oh no, you wanted it. I've got to get it installed before <laughs> Scotland, so yeah, I could pick so it up while we're in Scotland. We're gonna go up to Scotland fairly soon. Fingers crossed. Yeah. And yeah, we'll see my family up there, and then we'll go on to do a bit of sightseeing. Eh? Yeah. Well, we want to go Loch Lomond, 
Def definitely Glencoe. Glencoe, beautiful Glencoe. Uh, we want to go and see the Kelpies as well, don't we? Yeah. And I would also like to see um, the circular, like a canal lock, but it's a circular. Anybody that knows it will know what I'm talking about. So anyway. Well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, next thing I'll do is I'll show you in the back of the van and show you why we need more storage. So this is the chair that will remain in the van. And it, as I've said uh, previously, it also turns around so it's facing forward with seat belts uh, for two passengers. I did remove the chair from there when I did the initial um, conversion and put that floor in. And if I could just turn around here. Now this is the other chair. The one that I'm talking about is going to have to come out. It's a lovely, comfortable seat, as you can see, but it just takes up so much room without really any storage. So that is going to come out, and um, the uh, runner piece under here, I don't know if you can see that, that's got to come out as well. I did remove the ones from the floor when I did the initial conversion, uh, when I put the wooden floor in. Now the other thing is here, is the unit that I actually uh, made and enjoyed making to be honest with you but um, you know it's going to come out so if anybody's interested in that just let me know uh, but it's going to come out and then it's going to have its the rear conversion and uh, well it, it, the, the rear conversion will give us two benches and also the units at the back with a lot more storage space cooker and hob installed onto it which would be fantastic now these units that I put in that's right I'm trying to hold this light here these units that I put in, they are pretty full. We have tea, coffee, a few cans, things like that, cleaning products underneath there. Um, and then in this one here, we have the uh, water, the kettle, uh, some cooking utensils and things like that. But anyway, so the new installation is going to give us a lot more, a lot more space. Um, Oops, let me just back out here again. Yeah, so what's going to happen, as I say, is this unit's coming out and that chair is coming out. This chair is staying in and, as I say, can go sideways on. But also, we're having a TV at the back, at the back of the van on the new unit that goes into there. So we'll still be able to sit there and also this will lay down flat in, in uh, you know, it'll join up with the bench seats that are here and it makes a, you know, sort of three-quarter bed. So, looking forward to getting started. What I put in there is okay, and we do get quite a bit in it. It is, it's good. Yeah, but we have um, a lovely, well, there's three lovely cozy chairs in the back. There were eight when we got the van, um, but during the conversion, I took three of them out. Um, yeah, so kids, you think coming in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, did I take three out? No, I took two out. But, so it's a five seater at the moment with seat belts. It will knock it down to four seats with seat belts, but that'll be fine. Uh, so as I said, I'll show you in the back and show you why the lovely big chair at the back takes up so much room. But or they how are it does. so comfy, aren't they? are they? comfy, but it's will, will, these two behind here will remain and they can either face backwards, they can face forwards, they can turn sideways. So it'll still, you know, have uh, lots of comfort but the units and things that are going in there, it's a back conversion, a rear conversion. Um, it's its going to be great. And as I say, it's all been delivered and looks fantastic. So when but are you starting it? I, I'm going to start, uh, you know, tomorrow. Are you? Well, I already started uh, checking it through. Everything comes in the kit, as you will, will have seen in the uh, footage that I, I put up, you know, about it. It's all there. In fact, you can go even further and order all of the flat pack as I did and get everything else you want if you, if you want to convert again. Uh, convert, <laughs> if you want to convert a van. For example, the seat cushions, which we've got to either get made or something or find yeah. some. Um, you I get, could make them for you. You can't even sew. <laughs> I do the sewing and machining in our house. Um, yeah, so in the kit that you can order, you can get everything you need, including fire extinguishers. Um, what was the other thing, Suzanne? The carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide, the cooker, the sink. Everything you would need comes in the kit. This kit we've got is the complete units. I've got to put the T-trim all the way around the edge of everything. Uh, it comes with all the hinges. 
it even comes with um, little jigs to fit the hinges. It's, it's amazing. Everything's there. All the holes are pre-drilled, so I just need to assemble it. So I'm going to get onto that, and I would like to think, I mean, even though I'm semi-retired now, I still do uh, work occasionally, but uh, I'm in the business, you know, just to help out. But I am considering taking this week off and trying to hit it and get it done. So anyway, um, we'll see how it goes. And I will film everything and put them out over two or three, or even four if I can stretch it out, videos of how it all takes place. So if anybody else is interested in getting one of these kits, um, you'll be, ha be able to see how easy or not <laughs> it is. So, uh, yeah. So there you go. So that's it for a little while. Well, yeah, I'm saying it's the last time we're going to use the van, um, but uh, who knows? I'm not talking of for weeks and weeks and weeks because it, that's not going to be necessary. On some of the van builds that I've watched, I mean, they have to do the complete strip out. Fortunately, with this van, when we got it, or this eight-seater, it, it's already insulated and it's got, um, you know, lots of the things that we actually need. So all I'm really doing is taking, emptying the unit that I put in there, taking it out, removing the chair, that's the worst part about this because if you go back and look at my first video you'll see the floor rails that this van these have in them these Toyota Alphards for the seats to slide on and they are extremely hard to get out and I've got to still get one of these runners out or, or the tracking that goes in the runner to be able to take this seat out but anyway uh, you'll see all of that in the in the filming is that it anything else you'd like to say no and then of course we look forward to when we go into Scotland that of course we'll be doing lots of filming then and we'll have plenty of place to store things yeah. and a nice big table we use a table at the moment but this one would, that comes the type that clips on to you know inside camper vans you can also clip it on the rear of the van with the door up um, so fingers we'll, crossed it's good weather up there it was the last time we went wasn't it yeah that was in April April 2016 2017 yeah, 16. 2016 and we had gorgeous weather didn't we? We did. And I went back up to Scotland in the July to play golf and it was freezing. In fact <laughs> we went back over the border one of the days to Berwick to play that course and we were surprised they didn't shut it because you would tee off and within a hundred feet the ball had disappeared. <laughs> but anyway yeah so uh, yeah fingers crossed we get the same beautiful weather yeah. uh, when we go in a few it's weeks always time. colder and wetter up there, I find. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, we were really lucky, so let's keep our fingers yeah, crossed. Yeah, looking forward to seeing my family. I haven't seen them for a little while. Since 2016? Well, no, a couple have been down. Oh, so they have, yeah. Yeah. Well, recently for a funeral. Yeah. Anyway, can't think of anything else. Uh, just to let you know that um, if you want to watch, I will be filming the conversion in the back. And hopefully it turns out like it does in the photographs of, of the ones that I've, you know, from the manufacturers. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed. And uh, we'll speak to you again soon. See you soon. Bye. Oh, and before I go, I've now got a remote control for, it's the Hero 4 I'm using in the car, which is quite rare. But this works with uh, just about all of the, I've got the Hero 4, Hero 7, Hero 10 the GoPro <laughs> the GoPro 2018 and this remote works with all of them so all I have to do now is press this button and you'll be gone bye 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 we're back and that's because I've just realized that not only does this start and stop recording or take photographs with it you actually turn off the camera and turn it on again just with this so what an amazing well worth how much 26 pounds this one from Amazon and it's just round my neck out of the way and Suzanne with buttons and things no she has no idea what anything in the car does I like to just sit here and all, go for all the, the cameras ride. yeah Suzanne just turns up I, <laughs> I do all the driving all the filming all the editing all the everything but once we get the new setup Suzanne's gonna be doing a lot of cooking in the van that'll be your new job and making tea woman Get in the back of the van and make me a cup yeah, of tea. Right. <laughs> anyway, yes, chuff with this. So, 
if you'd like to watch me working my way through the rear conversion, uh, I will film it all. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also um, ring that bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I do put a video up. And again, if you enjoyed this video, then uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. That would be great. And as I've said earlier on, if anyone's interested in this unit that's in here, let me know in the comments and uh, we can come to some sort of an agreement. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.